The okapi is a very rare animal, and its existence was officially recognized worldwide for the first time in the 20th century. It is sometimes counted as one of the world's three great rare animals along with the giant panda and pygmy hippopotamus. There are few examples of okapi being kept in zoos, and because they have retained their ancient appearance, they are also referred to as a rare animal or a living fossil. In addition, due to the beautiful striped pattern on its legs, it is also known as the forest lady. The okapi is believed to be the ancestor of the giraffe and is a primitive animal that has not changed its appearance since 10 million years ago. The fact that it has a very limited habitat and a very small population is also a reason why it is called a rare animal or a living fossil. The okapi is a four-legged herbivorous mammal in the giraffe family, Okapia genus, of the order Artiodactyla. It has a body length of around 2 to 2.5 meters, and a similar build to a horse. Its height is around 1.5 to 1.7 meters. Females are about one size larger than males and can weigh over 300 kilograms, while males typically weigh between 200 and 300 kilograms. The gestation period lasts about 14 months, and usually results in the birth of one baby. The newborn weighs around 15 kilograms and stands up about 30 minutes after birth, then begins to suckle 6 to 12 hours later. They reach adult size in about 3 years. In captivity, females can breed at 1 year and 7 months, while males can breed at 2 years and 2 months. They are known to live up to 15 years in captivity, but some individuals have been known to live over 30 years. It is not well understood how long they live in the wild. The okapi is believed to have natural predators such as leopards. They do not vocalize, but experiments have shown they emit frequencies outside the range of human hearing. Okapis feed on plants such as leaves and grass using their long necks and tongues. An adult okapi can consume up to 20 kilograms of grass per day. When feeding, its tongue can extend up to 40 centimeters, and its tongue is rough to help it grasp the plants. Okapis also use their tongues to groom their entire bodies. Okapis are native to the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. They used to inhabit Uganda, but unfortunately, they are now extinct there. The okapi was officially discovered and announced by British explorer Harry Johnston in 1901. He learned of their existence from the Pygmy tribe, who are indigenous to the Congo and conducted his research. The name okapi means forest horse in the Pygmy language, and they live in tropical forests. There have also been sightings of okapis at an altitude of 1,450 meters in mountainous regions. Due to their excellent hearing and strong vigilance, even the indigenous people of Africa have a difficult time seeing them. Okapis are hard to come by in person, so at first, they were thought to be a new species of zebra based on their appearance. Are okapis a hybrid of horses and zebras or a type of horse? In fact, okapis are members of the giraffe family. They are ungulates with two hooves, and belong to the even-toed ungulate category, which refers to animals with hooves and an even number of toes. Giraffes are also even-toed ungulates, but horses belong to the odd-toed ungulate category, with one toe per hoof. Therefore, okapis have more similarities to giraffes than horses. Okapis are also ruminants, which means they chew their food multiple times. Ruminants are a characteristic of even-toed ungulates such as cows, goats, sheep, and giraffes. The horns of an okapi are covered in skin. Although it may be hard to see, male okapis have horns on their heads, while females do not. This is the same as in giraffes, where the horns are also covered in skin. This further distinguishes okapis from animals such as cows or zebras. The fact that horns are absent in females is also a key point in distinguishing between male and female okapis. Breeding okapis under captivity was considered difficult, but in 1957, the first successful breeding was achieved at the Paris Zoological Park, and since then, breeding has been successful at zoos in various parts of the world, including Switzerland, Belgium, the United Kingdom, and Japan. If you would like to see an okapi in person, why not search for the latest information and visit a zoo? That concludes our introduction to the okapi. Thank you for watching until the end.